I'm going to be showing you in this course how you can create your own racing driving style game. We're going to be starting with the main menu and then a racetrack selection menu. At the moment we only have two racetracks but I'm going to be showing you how you can create these yourself so that you can then continue to add extra tracks and you can add as many tracks as you like. Um, we're going to create sub menus such as a stats menu which is going to display your name the controller type that you want to use, whether you want to use a keyboard or a joypad to control, and then how many races you've won or lost. In the car showroom, you have the ability to choose different types of cars, as well as customizing the color and the look of the car. It's going to display different stats and whether you actually own the car. So as long as I have enough money, which I do, the credit says 800,000, this costs 125,000, I can set different colors and I'm going to be showing you how you can script that so that you can uh, customize the color in this menu and that will carry over into the race. Then we can buy the car and we can get in that car ready for a race. Now at the moment we only have three cars set up but I'm going to be showing you how to customize each car so they have different handling, different abilities and speeds as well as setting up the cars so that if you want to bring in your own cars you can bring in as many as you want and have a huge amount of selection in this menu. And we're also going to work on a system whereby if you end up on something like gravel or if you're on grass, you're going to get very different handling than if you're on the main road. Inside this menu, we have the ability to choose either a time trial track or a race track. I'm going to be showing you how to create the two different systems and from here, we can choose as many laps as we like, as well as a number of different opponents to race against. So if you feel that you only want to take on one opponent, that's fine. Four laps, a race, click begin, and then we start up. Okay, whatever you've chosen in the menu, the car will then be that color. And we're now racing against AI cars. I will be showing you how to set up AI cars to follow an AI waypoint track that you can currently see here so that the cars can effectively move around the track as though they're controlled by real players. If I'm racing against multiple opponents, I'm going to create a leaderboard. It's going to show my place. And when I click continue, it's going to show my position and all the other uh, races and what, what kind of times they got. We will also be creating a user interface. So creating things such as a mini map and various items on the screen that display what position and lap you're on, how much speed you're doing and your overall race time and best lap time. By the end of this course, you will have a fully working driving game. And this is a template that you can continue to build up so you can add your own extra cars, extra tracks in order to make this your own game. And you will have the confidence and the ability to go on to make your own driving games as well as many other types of games. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, why not enroll today? And I look forward to seeing you in my course.